What would you like to eat, Peter? The cheese sandwiches are the cheapest. Uh, um, oh, a cheese sandwich, please, Christina. Cheese. Mm. Janine, would you like a beef sandwich or a cheese sandwich? A cheese sandwich, please. What about you, Christina? Would you like cheese or beef? Are you all ready to order? What would you like to eat? Uh, we'll have one beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and um, tea for me. Tea for me too, please. Yes, uh, make that three teas, please. One beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and three teas. What would you like to eat, Peter? The cheese sandwiches are the cheapest. Uh, um, oh, a cheese sandwich, please, Christina. Cheese. Mm. Janine, would you like a beef sandwich or a cheese sandwich? A cheese sandwich, please. What about you, Christina? Would you like cheese or beef? Are you all ready to order? What would you like to eat? Uh, we'll have one beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and um, tea for me. Tea for me too, please. Yes, uh, make that three teas, please. One beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and three teas. Three interesting films. Good evening, Mrs. Lee. Is Kim in? Is he coming to the cinema, Mrs. Lee? It's the children's film festival. Kim's ill. Here he is. Hi, Kim. Hi, Gina. Hi, Bill. Kim, we've got these three free tickets to see three prize-winning films for children. Listen, Kim. Is it interesting? We think it is. First, there's a short film about gorillas and chimpanzees in Africa, and then the next film is about the six best Olympic gymnastic competitions, and then then it's the big film, the history of English cricket. Cricket? It's a terrific film. If you're ill, Kim, it would be a pity to miss it. Now listen, you kids. And it begins. Now listen, you kids. And it begins in fifty minutes. Kim, quick. Or we'll miss the beginning of the gorilla film. Three interesting films. Good evening, Mrs. Lee. Is Kim in? Is he coming to the cinema, Mrs. Lee? It's the children's film festival. Kim's ill. Here he is. Hi, Kim. Hi, Gina. Hi, Bill. Kim. We've got these three free tickets to see three prize-winning films for children. Listen, Kim. Is it interesting? We think it is. First, there's a short film about gorillas and chimpanzees in Africa, and then the next film is about the six best Olympic gymnastic competitions, and then then it's the big film, the history of English cricket. Cricket. It's a terrific film. If you're ill, Kim, it would be a pity to miss it. Now listen, you kids. And it begins. Now listen, you kids. And it begins in fifty minutes. Kim, quick, or we'll miss the beginning of the gorilla film. Three B, friends. Hi Emma. Hi Ben. Hello Emily. Hello Eddie. Hi everybody. Hi Adele. Nice to see you again, Adele. Kevin, this is Adele. Adele, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Are you listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers? It's terribly loud. Yes. Is that better? Mhm.、Mm、Are you a friend of Emma's? Yes. Emma said she had a friend called Adele. Help yourself to Mexican food, Adele. It's on the kitchen bench, and there's French bread on the shelf. Can I get you a drink, Adele? Yes, thanks, Ben. Some lemonade with a bit of ice in it. Have you met my friend Adele yet, Kevin? Yes, I've just met her. She's very friendly. How did you spend your holiday, Adele? Adele? I went to South America with my best friend Kerry. 
Well, wow. we're all jealous. Was it expensive? Not very, but I spent everything. I haven't any money left. 3B. Friends. Hi, Emma. Hi, Ben. Hello, Emily. Hello, Eddie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Adele. Adele. Nice to see you again, Adele. Kevin, this is Adele. Adele, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Are you listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers? It's terribly loud. Yes. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Are you a friend of Emma's? Yes. Emma said she had a friend called Adele. Help yourself to Mexican food, Adele. It's on the kitchen bench. And there's French bread on the shelf. Can I get you a drink, Adele? Yes, thanks, Ben. Some lemonade with a bit of ice in it. Have you met my friend Adele yet, Kevin? Yes, I've just met her. She's very friendly. How did you spend your holiday, Adele? Adele? I went to South America with my best friend, Kerry. Wow. wow. We're all jealous. Was it expensive? Not very, but I spent everything. I haven't any money left. 3B. Aaron's recorded messages. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi Aaron, this is Annabelle. Uh, I guess you're having a fabulous holiday in Amsterdam. Well, I have to tell you that after you left yesterday, there was this uh, smelly anchovy and salad sandwich you left on your desk, Aaron. As you can imagine, Mrs. Allen wasn't very happy about that. She says you create a bad atmosphere in the Ajax travel agency. And when you come back, <laughs> you have to keep your desk spick and span. <laughs> That's what she said, Aaron. Spick and span. Send me a text message. Bye. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good morning, Aaron. This is Anthony. Sorry, I have to contact you about the maps. Mrs. Allen can't find the map of Africa. She said you had it on Saturday. Call me back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, Aaron. This is Janet. Just telling you to watch out for Mrs. Allen when you get back. She says you've been absent from work every Wednesday and every second Saturday, and it's getting to be a bit of a bad habit. <laughs> anyway, have a fantastic holiday. John, your Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, this is Annabelle again. Anthony said he left a message on your message bank about that map and you haven't got back. Uh, there's another matter now. Apparently, just before you left for Amsterdam, you actually booked a passenger to San Salvador with three animals. <laughs> one anteater, one antelope and one alligator. <laughs> You're mad, Aaron. Mrs. Allen's really angry about that. Phone back, Aaron or send a text message with your landline number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, Aaron, this is Anthony. <laughs> Sorry, I have to let you know what's happened at the travel agency. Um, well... <laughs> The computer has crashed and you hadn't done the backup on any of the advertising programs. Mrs. Allen's uh, very angry. <laughs> you absolutely have to phone back 
or send a message with your fax number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Janet here. Anthony said to tell you the best advertising contracts have been cancelled. Mrs. Allen said it was your bad management. Now, Aaron, you just have to call back, back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Aaron, Janet here. You don't have to call back. In fact, you don't have to come back. It doesn't matter. Anthony says, Mrs. Allen says, you're sacked. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, Aaron. This is Annabelle. I've heard you're sacked. I'm very sad about that, Aaron, and I'm going to miss chatting with you in the canteen. I know you're having a fabulous holiday and I'll contact me when you get back. Bye, Aaron. 3B. Aaron's recorded messages. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi Aaron, this is Annabelle. Uh, I guess you're having a fabulous holiday in Amsterdam. Well, I have to tell you that after you left yesterday, there was this uh, smelly anchovy and salad sandwich you left on your desk, Aaron. As you can imagine, Mrs Allen wasn't very happy about that. She says you create a bad atmosphere in the Ajax travel agency. And when you come back, <laughs> you have to keep your desk spick and span. <laughs> That's what she said, Aaron. Spick and span. Send me a text message. Bye. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good morning, Aaron. This is Anthony. Sorry, I have to contact you about the maps. Mrs. Allen can't find the map of Africa. She said you had it on Saturday. Call me back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, Aaron. This is Janet. Just telling you to watch out for Mrs. Allen when you get back. She says you've been absent from work every Wednesday and every second Saturday, and it's getting to be a bit of a bad habit. <laughs> anyway, have a fantastic holiday. Thank about. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, this is Annabelle again. Anthony said he left a message on your message bank about that map and you haven't got back. Uh, there's another matter now. Apparently, just before you left for Amsterdam, you actually booked a passenger to San Salvador with three animals. <laughs> one anteater, one antelope and one alligator. <laughs> You're mad, Aaron. Mrs. Allen's really angry about that. Phone back, Aaron or send a text message with your landline number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Advertising. Uh, Aaron, this is Anthony. Sorry, I have to let you know what's happened at the travel agency. Um, well... The computer has crashed and you hadn't done the backup on any of the advertising programs. Mrs. Allen's uh, very angry. 
you absolutely have to phone back or send a message with your fax number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Janet here. Anthony said to tell you the best advertising contracts have been cancelled. Mrs. Allen said it was your bad management. Now, Aaron, you just have to call back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Aaron, Janet here. You don't have to call back. In fact, you don't have to come back. It doesn't matter. Anthony says, Mrs. Allen says, you're sacked. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, Aaron. This is Annabelle. I've heard you're sacked. I'm very sad about that, Aaron, and I'm going to miss chatting with you in the canteen. I know you're having a fabulous holiday in Amsterdam when you get back. Bye, Aaron. 3B. She doesn't love him. Honey, why are you so sad? Honey, why are you so unhappy? I don't understand. You don't love me, Jasmine. But Duncan, I love you very much. That's untrue, Jasmine. You love my cousin. Justin? No, his brother. Dudley? No, stop being funny, Jasmine. Not that one. The other brother, Hunter. You think he's lovely and I'm unattractive. Duncan, that's utter rubbish. And Hunter loves you, too. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Duncan. Just once last month I had lunch with Hunter. You mustn't worry. I like your company much better than Hunter's. Hunter's... Oh, just shut up, Jasmine. But honey, I think you're wonderful. Oh, shut up, Jasmine. Now that... Now that's enough. You're just jealous, Duncan. You shut up. 3B. She doesn't love him. Honey... Why are you so sad? Honey, why are you so unhappy? I don't understand. You don't love me, Jasmine. But Duncan, I love you very much. That's untrue, Jasmine. You love my cousin. Justin? No, his brother. Dudley? No, stop being funny, Jasmine. Not that one. The other brother, Hunter. You think he's lovely and... I'm unattractive. Duncan, that's utter rubbish. And Hunter loves you, too. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Duncan, just once last month I had lunch with Hunter. You mustn't worry. I like your company much better than Hunter's. Hunter's... Oh, just shut up, Jasmine. But, honey, I think you're wonderful. Oh, shut up, Jasmine. Now that... Jasmine. Now that's enough. You're just jealous, Duncan. You shut up. 3B. At a party. What a marvellous party this is. I'm having so much fun, Margaret. Where's your glass, Alana? Oh, here you are. Thanks. That's enough. Alana, Margaret, come into the garden. Tara Darling and Marcus Marsh are dancing on the grass. In the dark? They're dancing under the stars. Fantastic. And Bart Jackson is playing his guitar. Just look at Tara. She can't dance, but she looks very smart. Look at Marcus. What a fabulous dancer. What an attractive couple they are. Let's take a photograph of them. 3B at a party. What a marvellous party this is. I'm having so much fun, Margaret. Where's your glass, Alana? Oh, here you are. Thanks. That's enough. Alana, Margaret, come into the garden. 
Tara Darling and Marcus Marsh are dancing on the grass. In the dark? They're dancing under the stars. Fantastic! And Bart Jackson is playing his guitar. Just look at Tara. She can't dance, but she looks very smart. Look at Marcus. What a fabulous dancer. What an attractive couple they are. Let's take a photograph of them. 3B. TV advertisement for Onwash. Ugh! <sighs> What's wrong with you, Mrs Bloggs? What's wrong with me? I want a holiday from this horrible job of washing socks. Buy a bottle of Onwash, Mrs Bloggs. Onwash is so soft and strong. You don't want lots of hot water with Onwash. It's not a long job with Onwash. Use Onwash often. You won't be sorry when you've got Onwash. Everybody wants Onwash. Onwash is so popular. 3B. TV advertisement for Onwash. Ugh. What's wrong with you, Mrs Bloggs? What's wrong with me? I want a holiday from this horrible job of washing socks. Buy a bottle of Onwash, Mrs Bloggs. Onwash is so soft and strong. You don't want lots of hot water with Onwash. It's not a long job with Onwash. Use Onwash often. You won't be sorry when you've got Onwash. Everybody wants Onwash. Onwash is so popular. Four. 3B. Sports report from Radio Station 4. This morning, the Roarers football team arrived back from York. Laura Short is our sports reporter, and she was at the airport. Good morning, listeners. This is Laura Short. All the footballers are walking towards me. Here's George Ball, the goalkeeper. Good morning, George. Good morning. Are you a reporter? Yes, George. I'm Laura Short from Radio Station 4. Tell us about the football match with York. Well, it was awful. We lost and the score was 44-4. But it wasn't my fault, Laura. Whose fault was it, George? The forwards. The forwards? Yes, the forwards. They were always falling over or losing the ball. 3B. Sports report from Radio Station 4. This morning, the Roarers football team arrived back from York. Laura Short is our sports reporter, and she was at the airport. Good morning, listeners. This is Laura Short. All the footballers are walking towards me. Here's George Ball, the goalkeeper. Good morning, George. Good morning. Are you a reporter? Yes, George. I'm Laura Short from Radio Station 4. Tell us about the football match with York. Well, it was awful. We lost, and the score was 44-4. But it wasn't my fault, Laura. Whose fault was it, George? The forwards. The forwards? Yes, the forwards. They were always falling over or losing the ball. 3B. A lost book. Could you tell me where you've put my book, Bronwyn? Isn't it on the bookshelf? No. The bookshelf is full of your cookery books. Then you should look in the bedroom, shouldn't you? I've looked. You took that book and put it somewhere, didn't you? The living room? No, I've looked. I'm going to put all my books in a box and lock it. Look, John. It's on the floor next to your foot. Ah, good. 3B. A lost book. Could you tell me where you've put my book, Bronwyn? Isn't it on the bookshelf? No. The bookshelf is full of your cookery books. Then you should look in the bedroom, shouldn't you? I've looked. You took that book and put it somewhere, didn't you? The living room? No, I've looked. 
I'm going to put all my books in a box and lock it. Look, John, it's on the floor next to your foot. Ah, good. Three B, the two rudest students in the school. Good afternoon, girls. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Miss Luke. This afternoon, we're going to learn how to cook soup. Turn on your computers and look at Unit Twenty Two. Excuse me, Miss Luke. Yes, Lucy. There's some chewing gum on your shoe. Who threw their chewing gum on the floor? Was it you, Lucy? No, Miss Luke. It was Susan. Who? Susan Duke. It wasn't me, stupid. It was Julie. It was you. It wasn't me. My mouth's full of chewing gum. Look, Miss Luke. Stop pulling my hair, Susan. It was you. 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 Excuse me. If you two continue with this rudeness, you can stay after school instead of going to the pool. Three B. The two rudest students in the school. Good afternoon, girls. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Miss Luke. This afternoon, we're going to learn how to cook soup. Turn on your computers and look at Unit Twenty Two. Excuse me, Miss Luke. Yes, Lucy. There's some chewing gum on your shoe. Who threw their chewing gum on the floor? Was it you, Lucy? No, Miss Luke. It was Susan. Who? Susan Duke. It wasn't me, stupid. It was Julie. It was you. It wasn't me. My mouth's full of chewing gum. Look, Miss Luke. Stop pulling my hair, Susan. It was you. 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 Excuse me. If you two continue with this rudeness, you can stay after school instead of going to the pool. Four A. Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell me where I can get some shoelaces? Yes. There's a shop next to the supermarket that sells very good shoelaces. I'm going there too. Four A. Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell me where I can get some shoelaces? Yes. There's a shop next to the supermarket that sells very good shoelaces. I'm going there too. Three B, the worst nurse. Uh, nurse, nurse, I'm thirsty. Nurse, my head hurts. Nurse Sherman always wears such dirty shirts. He never arrives at work early. He and、uh, Nurse Turner weren't at work on Thursday, were they?、Uh, no, they weren't. Nurse Sherman is the worst nurse in the ward, isn't he, Sir Herbert? No, he isn't, Colonel Burton. He's the worst nurse in the world. Three B, the worst nurse.、Uh, nurse, nurse, I'm thirsty. Nurse, my head hurts. Nurse Sherman always wears such dirty shirts. He never arrives at work early. He and、uh, Nurse Turner weren't at work on Thursday, were they?、Uh, no, they weren't. Nurse Sherman is the worst nurse in the ward, isn't he, Sir Herbert? No, he isn't, Colonel Burton. He's the worst nurse in the world. Four B. I'm going to the library. Can you buy something for me at the newsagents? But the newsagents is a mile from the library. No, not that newsagents. 
Not the one that's next to the fish and chip shop. I mean the one that's near the butcher's. Oh yes. Well, what do you want? Some chocolates and a tin of sweets and an address book. Four B. I'm going to the library. Can you buy something for me at the newsagents? But the newsagents is a mile from the library. No, not that newsagents. Not the one that's next to the fish and chip shop. I mean the one that's near the butcher's. Oh yes. Well, what do you want? Some chocolates and a tin of sweets and an address book. Three B, at the railway station. This train's late. I've been waiting here for ages. Which train? The eight eighteen to Baker Street. The eight eighteen? I'm afraid you've made a mistake, sir. A mistake? My timetable says Baker Street train eight eighteen. Oh no, the Baker Street train leaves at eight o eight. At eight o eight? They changed the timetable at the end of April. It's the first of May today. Changed it? May I see the new timetable? What does it say? It says Baker Street train eight o eight. Oh no, you're right. The train isn't late. I am. Three B, at the railway station. This train's late. I've been waiting here for ages. Which train? The eight eighteen to Baker Street. The eight eighteen? I'm afraid you've made a mistake, sir. A mistake? My timetable says Baker Street train eight eighteen. Oh no, the Baker Street train leaves at eight o eight. At eight o eight, they changed the timetable at the end of April. It's the first of May today. Changed it? May I see the new timetable? What does it say? It says Baker Street train eight o eight. Oh no, you're right. The train isn't late. I am. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Caroline. You're looking nice, Caroline. Would you like some iced coffee, Caroline? No, thanks, Nigel. I'm busy typing. I have ninety-nine pages to type by Friday. Never mind. Do you like motorbike riding, Caroline? Sometimes. Oh, my mobile. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Riley. Mmm. <laughs> I'd like that. Mmm. At five at the library. It's nineteen High Street. Bye bye. Would you like to come riding with me tonight, Caroline? Not tonight, Nigel. I'm going for a drive with Riley. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What about Friday? Friday, I'm going climbing with Miles. All right then. Bye. Caroline, Nigel's put something behind your computer. Is it something nice, Heidi? No, it's a spider. Three B, Heidi, Caroline, and Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Caroline. You're looking nice, Caroline. Would you like some iced coffee, Caroline? No, thanks, Nigel. I'm busy typing. I have ninety-nine pages to type by Friday. Oh, never mind. Do you like motorbike riding, Caroline? Sometimes. Oh, my mobile. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Riley. Mmm. <laughs> I'd like that. Mmm. At five at the library. It's nineteen High Street. Bye bye. Would you like to come riding with me tonight, Caroline? Not tonight, Nigel. 
I'm going for a drive with Riley. Oh. Oh. What about Friday? Friday? I'm going climbing with Miles. All right, then. Bye. Caroline, Nigel's put something behind your computer. Is it something nice, Heidi? No, it's a spider. Royce. What a terrible noise, Mrs. Royal. Isn't it annoying, Roy? It's out of oil. A Rolls Royce. Out of oil. And look, the water's boiling. Perhaps you've spoilt the motor, or even destroyed it. How disappointing. It's such a beautiful Rolls Royce. And a Rolls Royce isn't a toy. How disappointing. I'll be late for my appointment. 3B. Joyce Royals Rolls Royce. What a terrible noise, Mrs. Royal. Isn't it annoying, Roy? It's out of oil. A Rolls Royce. Out of oil. And look, the water's boiling. Perhaps you've spoilt the motor or even destroyed it. How disappointing. It's such a beautiful Rolls Royce. And a Rolls Royce isn't a toy. How disappointing. I'll be late for my appointment. 4. 3B. A mouse in the house. I found a mouse. Ow! You're shouting too loudly. Sit down and don't frown. <sighs> I found a mouse in the house. A brown mouse? Yes, a little round mouse. It's running around in the lounge. On the ground? Yes. It's under the couch now. Well, get it out. How? Turn the couch upside down. Get it out somehow. We don't want a mouse in our house. Ours is the cleanest house in the town. 3B. A mouse in the house. I found a mouse. Ow! You're shouting too loudly. Sit down and don't frown. <sighs> I found a mouse in the house. A brown mouse? Yes, a little round mouse. It's running around in the lounge. On the ground? Yes, it's under the couch now. Well, get it out. How? Turn the couch upside down. Get it out somehow. We don't want a mouse in our house. Ours is the cleanest house in the town. Oh, in October. <gasps> Joe! 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 Hello! Wake up, Joe! Oh, oh, what is it, Joanna? Look out of the window! No. My eyes are closed and I'm going to go to sleep again. Oh, don't go to sleep, Joe. Look at the snow. Snow? But it's only October. I know there's no snow. Come over to the window, Joe. You're joking, Joanna. There's no snow. OK. I'll put my coat on and go out and make a snowball and throw it at your nose, Joe Jones. 3B. Snow in October. <gasps> Joe! 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 Hello! Wake up, Joe! Oh, oh, what is it, Joanna? Look out of the window! No. My eyes are closed and I'm going to go to sleep again. Oh, don't go to sleep, Joe! Look at the snow! Snow? But it's only October. I know there's no snow. Come over to the window, Joe. You're joking, Joanna. There's no snow. OK. I'll put my coat on and go out and make a snowball and throw it at your nose, Joe Jones. 4A 3B 
a bearded mountaineer. Oh, let's have a beer here, dear. What a good idea. They have very good beer here. We came here last year. The atmosphere here is very clear. But it's windier than last year. Hmm. Uh, two beers, please. Look, dear. Look at that mountaineer drinking beer. Oh, his beard is in his beer. His beard has nearly disappeared into his beer. Shh. He might hear. Here you are, sir. Two beers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the bearded mountaineer. Ha. 3B. A bearded mountaineer. Oh, let's have a beer here, dear. What a good idea. They have very good beer here. We came here last year. The atmosphere here is very clear. But it's windier than last year. Hmm. Uh, two beers, please. Look, dear. Look at that mountaineer drinking beer. Oh, his beard is in his beer. His beard has nearly disappeared into his beer. Shh. He might hear. Here you are, sir. Two beers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the bearded mountaineer. Ha. Three B, a pair of hair clips. Ah, I've lost two small hair clips, Claire. They're a pair. Have you looked carefully everywhere? Yes, they're nowhere here. They just aren't anywhere. Have you looked upstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. They just aren't there. Hmm. Are they square, Mary? Yes. Why? Well, you're wearing one of them in your hair. Oh. Then where's the other one? It's over there, under that chair. Three <sighs> B, a pair of hair clips. Ah, <sighs> I've lost two small hair clips, Claire. They're a pair. Have you looked carefully everywhere? Yes. They're nowhere here. They just aren't anywhere. Have you looked upstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. They just aren't there. Hmm. Are they square, Mary? Yes. Why? Well, you're wearing one of them in your hair. Oh. Then where's the other one? It's over there, under that chair. Hmm. <sighs> 3B, a damaged telephone line. Hello, this is double two double eight triple two eight. Hello, Daisy. This is David. Oh, hi, darling. What did you do yesterday, Daisy? You forgot our date, didn't you? Well, it rained all day, David, and I had a bad cold, so I, uh. Decided to stay at home. Did you? I phoned twenty times and nobody answered. Oh, the telephone line was damaged. They repaired it today. Well, Daisy. What, David? Oh, don't worry about it. What did、um, Donald do yesterday? Did he and Diane go dancing? No, they didn't yesterday. They just stayed at home and played cards. Played cards. And what did you do? Did you play cards too? No. Jordan and I listened to the radio and、uh, studied. What did you do yesterday, David? I've just told you, Daisy. I tried to phone you twenty times. Three B, a damaged telephone line. Hello. This is double two double eight triple two eight. Hello, Daisy. This is David. Oh, hi, darling. What did you do yesterday, Daisy? You forgot our date, didn't you? Well, 
It rained all day, David, and I had a bad cold, so I uh, decided to stay at home. Did you? I phoned 20 times and nobody answered. Oh, the telephone line was damaged. They repaired it today. Well, Daisy. What, David? Oh, don't worry about it. What did, um, Donald do yesterday? Did he and Diane go dancing? No, they didn't yesterday. They just stayed at home and played cards. And what... Played cards. And what did you do? Did you play cards too? No. Jordan and I listened to the radio and, uh, studied. What did you do yesterday, David? I've just told you, Daisy. I tried to phone you 20 times. For 